Nine times out of ten when I don't have the camera on, something amazing happens in all sorts of ways. But when I do these videos, I just flick it when I feel it. Just the, uh, like the adrenaline rush coming down these creeks. Instant hunt mode. First thing I want to do is find fish and then I want to play with them. Nice colour water, not too dirty, not too clear. Oh, no, that was a stick. Oh, he's got the fever. I think there'll be fish here today. This is my problem, I want to turn the camera off and just fish. It's when you least expect it. Gonna get hamps. Oh, see, I'm jumpy. <laughs> it's just another stick. That's the cast. gonna happen. Oh, I'm gonna turn you off. Guarantee something will hit when I do that. I'm just gonna work this first bank. I'm just going from there to here, turn the camera off, cast in caught one. That's good. It's only a little guy. Not at all what we're looking for. But uh, yeah, I was just over there, walked across here, cast a little spear, slammed it. Nice, healthy little bass. Mmm. Okay. Sea oaks. He shot out like a rocket too. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I dropped him. Okay. Better one. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so I've drawn them from that bank to this bank. Still not real big. But we're going to uh, try and really capitalise on this. Okay, number two. I think we've drawn that one across. I think there's still plenty over there. Oh, short. Yep, straight away. Number three. This is just a little. Creek video, oh there's one of my little funny fin guys. Oh, come on, get off. That's uh, number three. So you can see the, the structure that I'm fishing, it's all she oak, hard bank. I hope the camera's on target. There's number three. Listen, I'm gonna keep going with this, but I don't wanna lose my footage, so I'll turn you on and off. Number three there. There you go, camera's back on. Now it's funny because I've just started over there. Three or four casts, no good. Come over here. Jackpot. I'm gonna keep moving. I've got to get on that side anyway. As you can see it's too oops. Too thick over here to fish too too well. Last flood must have took my lay down. 
Got a crossover. Don't worry, there'll be another one somewhere else. An interesting part of the creek to fish actually because it's always flow through here. Not super skinny, super fast. And it's got that much timber in it, you think it'll have a lot more big bass, but I think it's more of a highway. It's not till you get to the bends. We've got races and holes that they seem to really stack up. This is my new lay down. We water looks good up here too. Okay. We've got a good new lay down so I can get across the other side. Which way do I want to go? I don't know. Look at back. Might go forward. I don't know. I hate not knowing what I'm going to do. So indecisive. You know that, I'm going to put you there. Um, I don't know. Let's find out together. Looks like I've gone the nasty one. Uh, I keep following these deer tracks. You're looking like a copperhead snake on that log there. Uh, where am I? He's on that side. He was scared of me. He's only little. Hopefully he hasn't got a mum and dad. We'll go this way. Oh yeah, green water. Mm. Mm. I like So I'm going to have to be a bit of a monkey to fish it though. Oh, I like it in there. I think I'll have to switch lures soon to, to penetrate all these little nooks. But at the moment, just looking for that one big bass sitting along one of these edges. Easy. Easy fish with an easy lure. As long as you keep it swimming. We'll see, there's some shape. Oh, there's a little one there. Huh. Oh, my oh, where's all your big mates? Too excited to uh, just have these little fellas coming out. Oh, you swallowed it too. It's on the roof of his mouth, so it's just got it. That's it. I just needed the pliers to. Uh, Pop it. Alright, I'm gonna let you go. There it is. Not what we're looking for, but still, don't care. A flush is our fish. Oops. Here we go. This is the one I think is gonna catch me a fish. Oh, here's a log. Where are you? Ideally, you'd surface. Surface here every time. You're going to draw them from a longer distance for the reaction. And uh, they can come under that timber and over and into you. But. As you can see, we're still catching fish. No. I'm going to move on. Moving on. They'll be up in them rapids.
Come on, that deserved a fish. So far, nothing in prime ambush. Not in the bigger water anyway. It's been just a bank bite. Well, I don't know, it could be. Well, I did get that one little one. Not out racing about for that sort of cast. All right. This is sort of where you want to get the big bass. Challenge yourself. Oh, there's one. Not a big one, but in that spot, that, that fast water. Interesting. So they're in the ambush spots. He's all right, he's a nice chunky little bass. God, they're under the spinner clip. Mm -mm. Mate, you popped it. Don't put it back in there. Ouch. Spinner's right down his throat again. Oh, I'm going to have to get the pliers out again. Just fell straight out. There we go. Where's my little bus? I'll stick him over here. 3.3 for the die. I'm gonna see if he's got a mate. Like my anticipation is for a monster bus out of that. So like over heavy line on an undersized rod. A little lure expecting and you just come out of there right on the current edge well, that was good that was really good gives me a plan i know the other way is a heap of current like this but what i'm going to do is go this way for a while because i'm in the mood now right, it's good finding bass but often I'll leave fish biting and then look for another lot. Oh, there's no, see, oh, there's another one. Now if they were big chunky bass, I wouldn't be leaving here. But, so we tricked the second bass. That's pretty awesome. Open your mouth, mate. Healthy fish. Uh -huh. He won't open his mouth. Why do I do that? I'm just going to let him go because he will not open his mouth. One of my little shorty fins. See you, mate. Sense that the fish were in the current. You know, when we got those first couple of little guys so active, it's like, whoa. Come from the exact same spot to wherever they're drawn or the lure to that spot from deeper in the shadow there or whether they're just sitting in there. I think I've drawn them there. Oops, not like that one. Roll on that log and they come up to this edge and then bang. Such a visual thing. The lawyer was saying I'm gonna move on, even though I know there's fish there. Um, this bass fishing's all about hunting, mate. And uh, we're going to keep hunting. And just because I don't end up, it's sort of deepish. Um, 
the old water's temperature is warming up. Okay. Yep, holds me. Just. Normally I'll be banging in uh, weedless just to get through this cover of water quicker. But um, today I'm more interested in covering structure properly. Well, not properly, but just seeing patterns. What they're doing. I mean, there's no reason why that couldn't have been a fish there. Well, see, so the creek changes. Nice for the worst. So it's good to uh, go and cover your water. See what changes have happened. You know what, as good as that looks, I'm oh, still have one more. So this is a bit risque, but that's a prime spot there. A little bit further back from there. Even though I know where the fish are biting and what they're doing, um, I've moved on. Now where I am right now, this place has magic. If the fish are stacked up in here, sometimes they're monsters. And there's a whole like half a kilometre bend of she oak. So, I could have hung around where it started kept ticking over a few fish but the excitement finding these fish these big fish in this sort of structure I'm gonna keep walking I just know somewhere somewhere they're gonna to absolutely help me probably found someone else's fishing line ripped my spin on so finally, it's going to make me change that uh, lures. Big weight bait lure on, and it's all ringing up in the middle. Oi! Which, uh, which usually means it's about to have a hatch, which means they go small. Uh, I'll stick with it for a while. So here we go. Looks loaded. I'm just looking, there's a big steep drop to jump down there, to fish it. I'm gonna have to go subsurface on it. I'm not even gonna go down there, I'm gonna walk around. <sighs> get the other side put another lure on all these floods in this tree has stayed here the whole time it's a bit sketchy still oh, I've walked see down there I've walked for miles through all this jungle, I said, water doggy, right on log there. Um, I left fish biting. And one, it's because I love to hunt. And two, as I was looking for those big girls. Now, I just had a monster come out of there. I know it's worth tar targeting, so I'm gonna work this area. He was a big, big bass. I wish I had that weight bait back on there. What I'm gonna do is work this hole and come back here and throw everything at it. 
this little atomic's told me where he is. He was a big fish. He drew right up there and just rolled over it. Oh, that's a good sign, man. If there's one in there, there's got to be more. Through the tree, through the scrub. Jizzy was a big one. Not a trophy, but a cracker. So we're going to fish this area on the presumption that there's more of them in here and then come back and get him, I hope. I hope. I wish I kept that camera roll. I basically come over this side. He's a lovely bass. I come over this side and I just drop that little atomic um, paddle tail. Just basically dropped it down the bottom. Let it sit there for a minute and then did a couple of twitches. We're going to get this up. It's a good fish. Oh, look at that. Now that is the reason, guys. We left fish biting and look for more. He's a gorgeous bass. Hold on a sec. Sorry I didn't have the camera rolling. I literally turned it off. Walked around the other side. I'll talk about the lure in a minute because he's th th that's just what catches fish around Sydney. These atomic lures. Okay, there he is. What a cracker. I'll see if I can get a photo of this. I'm hopeless on GoPros and my screenshots. I don't even know how to do them. Okay, I took a photo. Let him go. It's just a chunk. This is the sort of bass you want to catch. Hey, sorry, mate. Now, I'm going to keep fishing, but I'll end, probably end the video here. Um, what I've got here is an atomic paddle tail. Now, the same paddle tail as what you saw me earlier today using on the spinner. Now I've just got a, a worm, a G-lock worm hook in it and a running ball sinker. And when I've seen it draw that fish up, it's a complete change to how we've been fishing. I just let that sit on the bottom there. Let it sit like that and just went dunk, dunk. And he went dunk. And then I just set the hook. He was on. So he drew to the lure. Now I'm a mad, mad keen fan of Atomic products. The boys that run Atomic or Froglies, they, they're fishermen. So their, their products, they, they test them on Australian fish. They work for Australian fish. Um, that's something very rare in this country. And, and the results just tell. One of the other things I do like about them is the price tag. Like, the, I think you get 12 in a packet for $9. Um, you can't really beat that value-wise. Um, I've used two today. One on a spinner and this one. So they're quite durable. So there you have it. But the, the Atomic Hard Bodies, um, what happened? Years ago, I was fishing with a guy called Cody Stewart, absolute gun, tournament angler, gun bass, brim fisherman. And he was sponsored by Frogleys, and he was fishing with a bloke called Tim the Brim Morgan, or he, he, he was talking to this Timmy Morgan. Timmy is the bass and brim legend, you know. Um, at the time, he was, I think he was Berkeley. Then he went across to Frogleys, and he told Cody, he can catch as many fish on an Atomic as what he could on a Berkeley. And uh, a fisherman of that calibre, I had to take that on board. So I had to learn what the secrets were about these. Oh, is that one? Or just a stick? I had to learn what these secrets held in these Atomic lures. The hard bodies especially um, are famous for the brim and bass abilities but the rest of their range uh, is also pretty awesome anyway i'm gonna go back to fishing that's my spell i don't really plug companies but some companies like i don't get anything for free um it's not my go 
but some pl companies deserve a plug and the Frogley boys, they've been really good to me as a businessman in the past and, uh, and they, they sell a great product. Am I filming? I don't know. I lose track of these things. I think I'm filming. Structure. I'm a bigger bass now. Never, never happy. Just going to show those little bass are uh, chewy. But the bigger ones. You have to trick them. Keep forgetting I got the camera on. I just need another one to show itself. Yep, I'm on. Oh, oh I see bass. Oh. oh, I need a twig, so I tried to jam it out. Doing the damage, mate. Oh, that's a little stunted bass. Come here. Stop that. Straight over the log out there. There he is. I actually thought... I hit a twig or something, so that was good. But once again, that little fish, really active. Bigger fish, you have to trip. So, we'll keep working. Some have got nailed here. Some weird predators in this water. Hey, that's so much. Um, hunting the bat. Oh, he's fatty, this one. He's not real long. Now, well, obviously proves why sometimes you leave a fish biting. Because I've got on a much, much nicer school of bus now. I mean, these are chunks. A little shorty. Absolute chunks. Look at the poor thing. Look at the rotten fin on it. I was going to say, get drawn up here with the water from the treatment works. When they release it clean, it comes over the top. And then when the treatment works stops the flow, they're stuck in these polluted holes. Or if the treatment works puts chemicals in, they get hammered. I was like, cool. Walk out, my battery's on 3%. And I thought, no, I'll put another battery in. And I was going to take the shortcut. Uh, my battery bag, all my camera gear's all in here somewhere. Damn, I'm going to have to backtrack. Oh, I'm looking for my, I'm looking for my bag, it's got my wallet and everything in it, there's a big black snake just sitting in the grass up high, that's where I was, see, that's him there, red belly black, look at that. A cool little snake. Anyway, I've got to keep looking for my bag. Oh, where did I put it? Sorry, snake. I don't want to bother you like this, but I've got to go around that way. I've just backtracked, an epic backtrack. Every single step I took, I have 4% battery life. There is my box. In it, there's my wallet. Spare batteries. Dang. All those fish I could have caught on the way back. What's in here? Oh, not even open. Poo. Looks like an evil little tablet to be floating down the creek. I will take these back and dispose. I'm not going to now open the lid. I'm not going to. What's this one? Solvaldi. Yuck. That's human hair in there. 
Ugh. Look. Ugh. That can stay here. I'll dump the other pills. This is all stuff that comes in our sewerage and down into our creeks. It's disgusting. Mm. That was an awesome walk, but a little bit stressful there, wasn't I? Oh, look at that. I'm <laughs> that. It's just a bit of black plastic. I thought it was a snake. <sighs> it's a snake o'clock time. It's good fishing when the snakes are out, but they do give you the heebie-jeebies, the old Joe Blake. There's so many good lures on the market, but a lot of them have a secret, a hidden secret. Like this lure here, for instance, it's got to be, it's got to be swam quick. It's got to be cranked. That's why it's a crank, called a crank. Uh, it's a, it's a trigger point that gets them. You know, the weight bait I was using earlier, once again, trigger point, it's got to be flicked and chopped and then wait uh, to trigger those fish. Even that the best fish I got today was by sitting the atomic paddle tail on the bottom, twitching it, and he sucked it in like spaghetti. So you got to use lures to techniques. Now there is a lot of lures that I've used over the years that are just plain crap. You know, like I, I was mucking around the other day and I made a a uh, weight bait out of a a vape, a weight bait, and uh, I missed three fish that afternoon on it. Oh, oh, missed him. I'm using a vape, and I've had. 10, 20, 30, 40 dollar lures that won't catch their fish. So, local knowledge, inside knowledge on what to use and how to use it helps. And I hope these videos show that. It's all technique driven. And uh, I have given Atomic a big plug today because, like I said earlier, they're really good to do business with, especially the the actual owners of Frogleys. The boys just are fishermen, so they know what they're talking about, and they sell a good product. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's not about free stuff with me. It's about actually what I rate. So watch out for these sponsored guys that just give you a dribble about everything, because. Uh, you don't want to waste your money on lures that aren't going to work. You want stuff that you know is going to work. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Is that water doggy's vape? That's his. <laughs> You're not getting my vape, mate.